spiritually, it was something I knew I could handle because my understanding is when, you know, what we have here is rental property and the tenant's gone. When, the, when you've died, this is just the shell. And so it, it didn't bother me to see it. It didn't bother me to be around it. When children are, were involved, yeah. And then we talk it through. Um, but just from a spiritual b background, you know, it, it made it so much easier to deal with death and, you know, actually having to watch people die. And uh, it, it just, it was a lot easier for me. It was easier, I think, for me because I had been around funeral directors before and had given them a hand with different things. As, and so, uh, you know, I was used to being around it. Um, and I had been a fireman before all this, so you know, I had seen it already and, and quite a bit of it. And they, there's, a, there's a lot of, uh, just I guess, uh, a lot of Vietnam vets who are that a lot of the uh, post traumatic is just now kicking in and mm -hmm. so forth. And is there, is there any fear, first of all, that that may happen to you? Have you, uh, it, and why do you think that happens, maybe in a delayed manner? Yeah, I, I think it's possible. I think it, it's very possible for me because I've seen a lot. And I've, I think the delay is because you're so busy with everything and you go from one call to the next call to the next call to the next call and then you have your church things and your family things and your other things that your, your brain doesn't give you time to think about what you just experienced or what you witnessed. And then when things start to settle down a little bit, and I understand why it's delayed in a lot of military guys till years and years later, because things aren't quite as busy and quite as hectic and you have a little more time to think about things and all of a sudden stuff starts creeping back in and uh, that you thought was long gone. And I can see where that would happen pretty easily.